What's up everybody, this is Silent Slayer, welcome back to another P Battle League video. So guys, in today's video, we'll have another amazing battle submission from one of my friends. Shout out to Raymond, who submitted his battle to me. So in today's team, we have Open Ultra League team. So today we're gonna fight with, we have Zygarde, we have Chelysen, we have Skeletorge. Moves at Pokemon, Zygarde, we have full form guys, uh, full form of Zygarde. Moves at Pokemon guys, Zygarde, we have Dragon Tail, Crunch, Earthquake. Chelysen, we have Hex, uh, Shadow Ball, Surf. And Scarlet Urge, we have Instant Trade, Disarming Voice, and Shadow Ball. So here we go, let's go for the first match. And guys, if you like new on my channel, so please subscribe if you did subscribe. So enjoy my full video. And guys, don't forget to check out my second channel also. I upload daily PvP content. So let's see your opponent got. It's Zygarde versus Galarian Weezing. It's kind of an average start. Galarian Weezing have the upper hand because of Fairy Wind. And Zygarde is the Dragon type. Let's see, it's a Brutal Sing, not do much damage. Let's directly go for the earthquake. If he doesn't shield, this like one shot to Galarian Weezing, and yeah, he just uses shield. I'm not gonna use my shield because I think another. I think he's gonna use. Oh, this time he's go for the over, but still Zygarde survive. Let's go for the crunch. Let's see. Again, brutal swing. Zygarde is like so tanky, guys. As you can see, it survived over here to survive two brutal swing. And opponent just lost one shield also, so we got advantage. Almost take out. And for then we still got another crunch and bye bye to M for us here and yeah. We just beat his safe so we didn't switch. We got full advantage in this match. Let's see what he's gonna bring. He just bring his Galadian easy. So we know. So let's bring out our Skeletage and opponent just bring his Jelly Sand. Uh, opponent just bring his Langton. Langton got the like spark and Thunderbolt, which is both are like super effective. We have to use a shield here, guys, because one Thunderbolt do big amount of damage on Jelly Sand. So let's see. And opponent have like the full Great League team, guys. You can see he got Galarian Weezy, he got Langton, or like the meta of Great League, and he used in Ultra League. Let's go for another Shadow Ball. Let's see. And boom! It doesn't got any shield. It doesn't use his shield. So bye bye to Langton. Again, Brutal Swing is like super effective on Jelly Sand because of Ghost type, but we still survive, and we got another Shadow Ball on. And yeah, he doesn't use his shield. We can farm it down easily with the instant rate. We got disarming voice and shadow ball also. Brutal swing super effective. Almost we just need like one more instant rate, guys. I think Skeletor survived. And yeah, we just got two disarming voice. He definitely gonna shield this. And we got another one. And yeah, bye bye to Galarian Weezing, guys. You can see really, really close battle here. GG for us. Moving on to next battle. Let's see what I wanna have. Zygarde versus Credent. An average start. As you can see, the damage of Dragon Tail do decent amount of damage. Let's see, he got Crunch, not do much damage. He got, I think, this one is the another Crunch because body. And yeah, another Crunch. Still, Zygarde survived, but this time he got defense. Well, let's go for the like our Crunch. Let's see how much damage it can do on Greed. And yeah, but when just use shield, we got another one. And as you can see, guys, Apune just lost one shield. And I don't think so I'm gonna I don't think so he's gonna use his shield and yeah it's another crunch he still survive again I think he doesn't use his shield but I think he's gonna survive and yeah he just survived and he got another crunch let's see opponent gonna use his both this shield and he doesn't use his shield guys he just just like previous battle he just beat he just bring his Giradina we got the hex on jelly set and Giradina I think got like shadow claw shadow sneak let's see and it's in dragon claw didn't use his shield, but he got one shield advantage, so that's why he just used it. And Shadow Ball, opponent just used his shield as well. And let's see what he got this time. And this time again, Dragon Claw, he still survived. And yeah, opponent trying to catch his move, but he just saw his Shadow Ball and he just go for the like Shadow Ball directly. Oh. And I, it doesn't switch because Kaladaj is like the fire type Pokemon. And Tentacle definitely got the Scald, which is super effective again. That's why it doesn't switch. And Skeletor's Got disarming voice, shadow ball, both are like super effective on Kiratina. So he doesn't have to, uh, he doesn't have to switch to Skeletage now because he can easily take out Kiratina in front of Skeletage. Yep, he doesn't got any shield left. I think he just need like one shadow ball to knock him out. And yep, shadow ball ready. He can survive one shadow so he easily. He got almost full health. Yeah, but still super effective. Skeletage like little squishy as you can see the damage of Shadow Snake almost take him. Yeah, bye bye to Giratina. Easy win this time. We go to this one. Opponent just switched to his Giratina. So 
because you got a bad start because he st still is got the dragon tail also which is super effective on our zygarde that's why he just brings skeleton and opponent just bring his giratina and we just almost got the up yep, got the charming voice here and he just used shield that's what i thought definitely bring his zygarde farm it down his whole health is the dragon tail Dragon was super uh, super effective, but guys, you can see it doesn't do any damage on Zygarde. It's like so powerful in Ultra League. Opponent just lost one shield. He just bring his Steelix, and yeah, he just go for the earthquake to directly just use it. He's gonna use his shield, and then he's gonna bring out his Jalison and he go for the back to back surf. He's like super effective, and breaking swipe doesn't do much damage. Let's see, and he got two time breaking swipe ready. Each time you have to use his shield. So you got two damn defense spell and he just bring his trap net with no shield in front of him. He definitely go for the shadow ball. As you can see guys, the trap net still survive. <laughs> he was two damn defense uh, attack fell, that's why he just still survive. Let's see. He's trying to do under farming but you have to use his catch and yep, there comes the catch of the match here guys. I think two surf is enough to knock out Steelix. Let's see, it's the shadow one. So let's see. Yep, one surf down, and he got the second, and also another great win for Raymond here. GG for us. Really, really cra crazy win on one HP on Jelly Set. Moving on to next battle. Let's see your opponent M. Zygarde versus Pre Marina. Bad start. He just bring his Empoleon. Another bad safe surf. Definitely, because Waterfall is super effective on Skeletor. And yeah, he doesn't use his shield. And yep, yeah, that's a great move to use his shield and farm it down his whole health with the instant red because of steel type. And yep, yeah, we got another charge move ready with Shadow Ball. And opponent already did the charm here. Let's see what you're gonna do. That's great. He just really saves off. So he got the advantage to bring Jelly Sun in front of Pre Marina. That's a great idea to use one shield in front of Impolian. Can easily take out Pre Marina and all. Let's see, you're gonna use his shield or not. And he doesn't use his shield. Almost farm it down, but let's see your last Pokemon he got. He also got the Giratina and he got the Zygarde at the back. Both are like Dragon type. And Dragon type weakness are Dragon type. So let's see who's gonna win. Crunch. Super effective. And doesn't make his defense because sometimes Crunch do defense well. Almost farm it down, guys. So it's a tie. Great battle, but it's a tie. Moving on to next battle, Zygarde versus Alolan Mark. Alolan Mark got the Dark Pulse and Sludge Wave or Acid Spray. Let's see. It's a Dark Pulse. And opponent just bring to his Glisgo, Shadow Glisgo. I think opponent will like the full Shadow team. He should bring his Jelly Sand now to go for the back to back surf on Glisgo. I don't know why it doesn't. So he should maintain the advantage. I think he just gonna farm Glisgore health with just Dragon Tail. And yep, that's you wanna good work. And yep, he just lost in front of Glisgore. Let's see what you're gonna bring. This time he just bring Glisgore uh, Jelly Sun and farm his whole health with the Hex. Let's see what you're gonna bring. Definitely bring his Mug because Mug got the Dark Pulse, which is super effective on our Jelly Sun. Trying to catch his move, but Dark Pulse is like super effective on Skeletor's also. And let's see, I think another Dark Pulse is like stored. Dark Pulse is like so quick. And let's see, we got two disarming voice here and opponent just catch his move on Cresselia. So he just stuck in a pretty bad situation. He doesn't got any shield left. Opponent got one shield advantage and I think he like one more Dark Pulse also ready. And let's see, I think bye bye to Skeletor here. Yeah, Moon Blast. Almost got the I think definitely go for these grass not here and boom super effective Jellison should survive the grass not here. Let's see And yeah, he just survived on super effective and he got this off on our Alolan mark and bye bye to Alolan marks GG for us guys another another close win on one HP GG really really great win moving on to next battle Zygarde was his winner, so it's a great start because you got the Dragon Tail, Crunch. As you can see, the damage of Dragon Tail, guys, too big damage. Frenzy Blood do some damage because Zygarde is like the Dragon and Ground type Pokemon. 
and grass type is like super effective on ground type that's why it's still some damage i think you should use shield you should doesn't waste zygarde health that much and he just frenzy plant bring out our skeletor farm it down his whole health with insert rate so he got the enough energy for next pokemon let's see what he got and it's a frenzy plant again but this time not effective on skeletor let's see what he's gonna bring and he just bring his Grey Ninja, but he got the disarming voice, which is super effective. Almost got another one. He should use Shield and Iron. Take down Grey Ninja. He got the attack buff. If he just saw like his last Pokemon in the Chalice end. And I think he go for the Hydro Cannon. If it's Night Slash, and yeah, it's a Night Slash guy with the buff one. He just bring his Charizard and he just go for the like soft, which is super effective on Charizard. Another sub ready. I think we just need like 2-3 hex to knock out uh, Grey Ninja. Yep, one hex down and we got one chill advantage also. Here comes the insert rate and bye bye to Grey Ninja. GG for us. Moving on to next battle. Zygarde which is very zone. Let's see. Sacred Sword of Leaf Blade. It's a Sacred Sword. And he just bring his creed and let's go for the Dikely Earthquake. Earthquake is like a big move. Do some big damage. Yeah, as you can see, almost take out half of his health and creed and is like the tankiest Pokemon in Ultra League. Another crunch ready, I think. Yeah, but this time his body slam trying to bait down his shield. Let's go for the crunch. Sometimes crunch make opponent defense well. When he got lucky. Just like this one. This time your opponent got the defense well. So Dragon Tail do some damage and almost another crunch is like ready but have to get let it go and he just uses shield I think he can just go for the one more crunch he have to take it out grid and so he got no got the advantage that's great he's bringing his very zone and he just bring now his character with the instant rate guys super effective opponent just bring his Steelix so we have jelly sent for Steelix with the back to back surf yeah, one sub down. Super. I think you should go for the because breaking swipe is like so quick. And yeah, one sub. As you can see, guys, super effective, but still can't take his like 50 percent because of breaking swipe. And we got ready one more sub. Let's see. We got two time attack fell. We just need to take down Steelix here, guys. Otherwise, we can easily take down Virizon in front of Scaladurge. And yeah, he just brings his Willis on and opponent just, uh, Grimman is like so quick to break his Skeletor. And I think again he's in Secret Sword. No Leaf Blade this time, but still not effective. And he got the Disarming one, which is also super effective because Virizong is, Lee, Virizong is the Grass and Fighting type. Fighting type is like weak against Fairy type and bye bye to Virizong I think here, yeah. Incident is like also super effective in front of Steelix. Skeletor is like so great in Ultra League. Opponent have like Raymond is like the really have great team. Moving on to this one, Zygarde is Gold Spot. I think opponent like bad internet connection or something. Liquidation. Let's see what he got. And yep, it's an e release. And he almost taken out half of his health. Only just Dragon Tail. And he got two Crunch ready. He just uses Shield. Just bring his grid and just like previous match. Let's see what he got. Body slam. Earthquake is here. And do big damage on Earthquake. Opponent just lost one shield also. Again, I think it's in body slam. Oh no. Yep, it's in body slam again. Let's go for the crunch this time. Hope he got defense well. And yep, that's great. He just got defense well. <coughs> I think he should use his shield. Almost bye bye to Creed and DS. I got Cyber one, 1 HP. Bring his Golly Spot. He should bring his Jelly Sand. He can bring Skeletor also. And he just bring his Alola and Sand Slash. And upon his leg, got it too. Just bring out Skeletor. Farm it down his health with the instant rate here, guys. See the damage. We have Shadow Ball ready. Bye bye to Alola and Sand Slash. Incentrate like also do some damage on Golly Spot also. Let's see, it's a liquid, it's again aerial ace. 
he can easily stick let's see what he got again he release no this time is a liquidation and we need like one surf to knock out the spot he doesn't use his shield as well he know his attack like doesn't do any damage on he's trying to farm it down his whole health with the axe but let's see again he go for the release he take big risk he have one shield left but he still take big risk right this is like playing with the opponent gg for us guys so that's all for today video guys that's all for today better thanks for watching please do like comment share on my video guys until then and guys if you like new on my channel so please subscribe it